Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Tuesday, the 16th of March. This is our daily recap. If you want to learn more about me, the link is in the description below. It's not been a fun or easy day here in the markets. And, you know, I've got a lot of charts up here. Let's just go here and let's just go to a five-minute chart of the SPY to start with, and we'll, we'll move on from here. Uh, this morning, you know, we had a quick move up on the markets, right? So, you know, you come back here, you look at the SPY from yesterday, and closed here, we opened up, you know, just above that, pushed to a new all-time high, and then we came down. And then we had a couple of hard sells, but they're all being bought back. And I want you guys to see something on this chart, these V bounces on the five-minute charts. This is what makes shorting this market so hard. On the Qs, we were stronger today. We pushed higher. Then we had a big fall here. Now we're bouncing back. We actually went down and actually for basically fill this gap from yesterday that we created on the gap up. When you look at the daily charts, the Qs right now are just above the 50 day. That's a good sign for the Qs. We want this to hold into the close. The SPY just off of the all time highs. The action today, guys, is a word I would use is messy. What I mean by messy is it's very difficult, very choppy, very, very name specific. If you look at breadth today, one of our members, Mark, pointed this out right off the open this morning. Breath was weak all day long. Horrible breath. We look at this here. And that's just telling to what's going on in the markets here today, right? Very much telling of what's going on here within this market. So what was in play today? You know, there was a lot of play today in terms of tech stocks. Very quickly off the run today, you had Apple with a gap and go, right? Gapped up pushed higher all the way to 127.22. They were into the 130 calls heavily at one point before it's come in. Facebook managed to push, push itself up above the 280, all the way to 282.50. It's actually holding in well here right now. Google had a nice move today, all the way up to 21.13. Uh, it's holding in well. Earlier this morning, the semis were strong, but they've all come up. So let's go to a daily chart here, right? The semis showed some great strength this morning. Right, AMD popped, couldn't hold it. Nvidia popped, couldn't hold it. Micron looked so great this morning, pushed like it wanted to go out and hit that all-time high of 97.50. It couldn't hold it. You know, I had a, a trade on Micron. I made, I made force. I made next to nothing on it um, on that one, but at least it was that. And overall, the market here not really sure what it wants to do. You look at the financials right now, the financials have pulled back below the eight day and are closing on it. You got energy pulling back. These were the strong sectors, some weakness here. Uh, I made most of them, I made all my money today basically on Airbnb. I caught a nice trade on the open, was smart enough to get out of it quickly and uh, it yanked hard. You know, just nasty action and a lot of names here today. And it, you know, days like this, when I say stuff like, hey, cash is king, you know, it's messy. You know, it's about being patient and waiting for your setups. We have the Fed tomorrow. The Fed has their announcement at 2, press conference at 2.30. And this market is kind of just sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen. You know, we've been watching bonds all day weaken. They open nicely. And you can see bonds just sold off all day. We had a big spike here. On uh, There was a auction and a rumor that may be leaking the bond that the Fed may take some action tomorrow. We'll see. But, you know, not holding up here. And the market really is just messy. When the market gets messy, you could choose to play smaller or get out of the way. For me, I find trying to short this market here just too tough because the market just turns on a dime and heads right back up for no reason. So we'll see where we go tomorrow. It's a great time to be careful. The market here, you know, if if we get the Fed to take good action where they do a twist to um, to slow the rise in the short term interest rates, you could see tech run and rip tomorrow. That would be after the two o'clock announcement, the 2.30 press conference. So we'll see what that brings tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll look for trades going into that and see if we can find something. Hope you're all doing well. Hope everybody had an okay day and I'll catch you guys in the AM.